In Qing Dynasty, all the available girls from the expanded families were selected as elegant females. Some of the outstanding girls would become the concubines of the emperor or other royals. The selection was organized by the broader revenue every three years. First, they sent a notice to the officials of the expanded families to request a list of all available females ranging from 13 to 16 years old. Then they would arrange the selection day. On the selection day, all the girls were brought to the gate of loyal obedience in the Forbidden City for inspection. They could be accompanied by their parents or relatives. In 1704, during the reign of Emperor Kangxi, Niu Hulu participated in the elegant female selection when she was 13 years old. In the first round, thousands of girls were eliminated for being too tall, too short, too thin, and too fat. On the following days, they underwent different kinds of examinations for their appearance, manner, and mirrors. Only the most outstanding females could make through this rigorous process. Niu Hulu was one of them. She was selected to marry the fourth son of Emperor Kangxi, the future Emperor Yongzhen. Yongzhen was still a prince at that time. Niu Hulu became one of his concubines. Her concubine status was not high because she was from a family of a middle-ranking official. Also, Yongzhen already had two consorts, the first consort Una Nara and the secondary consort Nian. Initially, Niu Hulu was not able to win the favor of Yongzhen. Until several years later, a seasonal epidemic occurred in the palace. Unfortunately, Yongzhen also suffered from it. Because the disease was highly infectious, no one was willing to stay close with Yongzhen. However, Niu Hulu was not afraid of it, and she took the initiative to take care of him every day. Yongzhen was very touched. When he recovered, he started to spend more time with Niu Hulu. Finally, in 1711, she got pregnant and later gave birth to a son. However, not long after that, she was neglected again. During 1715 to 1722, the secondary consul Nian was exclusively favored by Yongzhen. According to the birth record, the secondary consul Nian gave birth to three sons and one daughter. Unfortunately, they all died at a very young age. During this period, there was no birth record from any other concubines. The secondary consul name was favored exclusively. Later, in 1722, Emperor Kangxi died. Yongzhen then took the throne and became the emperor. Niu Hulu was granted the title of Consul Si. The first consul Una Nara became the empress. The secondary consul Nian was granted the title of Noble Consort. At that time, noble consul Nan was pregnant with her son Fu Hui, but she still had to go through a lot of rites for the death of Emperor Kangxi. Her health condition got worse and she died after the baby was born. After the death of noble consul Nan, Emperor Yongzhen turned his love to their son Fu Hui. He adored Fu Hui and always had bias towards him. In the sixth year of Yongzhen reign, the book Imperial Encyclopedia was completed. While everyone received a copy made of bamboo, only Fu Hui received a book made of cotton, which was the more expensive and higher quality of material. Sadly, like his mother, the little boy was weak, and he died as only 8 years old. At that time, the son of Niu Hulu, Hong Ni, was already 18 years old. He began to show his capability and was finally able to gain the trust of the emperor. In 1730, Niu Hulu was promoted to noble consul Si. It was believed that around this time, Emperor Yongzhen secretly established her son as the crown prince. Five years later, Emperor Yongzhen died. The son of Niu Hulu succeeded the throne and became Emperor Qianlong. Niu Hulu was honored as a divine mother empress dowager Chongxing. Qianlong was the only child of Niu Hulu, so their relationship was very close. Niu Hulu never intervened in the emperor's political decision. Qianlong was also a good son. 
he respected and honored his mother. When Chenong took the throne, he immediately restored the living palace of New Hulu. Every time he traveled to the south or to the east, he also invited his mother to come with him. On New Hulu's 60th, 70th, and 80th birthdays, Chenong spent a lot of money on the celebrations. Therefore, New Hulu enjoyed the privileged life for 40 years, and she died peacefully at 86 years old. Undoubtedly, New Hulu was one of the most fortunate women in Qing Dynasty. But until today, rumors are still going around about her real relationship with Qianlong and her own background. Legend said New Hulu was not the biological mother of Emperor Qianlong. One version said Qianlong was the son of an official. The official wife gave birth to a son. While New Hulu gave birth to a daughter in the same day, so they secretly exchanged the children. Another version said Tianlong's mother was a lady from Han ethnic group and did not have a very good family background. Yongzheng met this lady when he went hunting in Chengde. When the baby was born, he was given to New Hulu. There was also an uncertainty about the real birthplace of Qianlong. In a document during Yongzheng Dynasty, Qianlong was born in a villa in Chengde. But in another document during Qianlong Dynasty, Qianlong was born in Yongzheng Living Palace. Besides, rumors had it that New Hulu was not her real surname. In a document during Yongzheng Dynasty, her surname was written as Qian. But in another document during Qianlong Dynasty, her surname became New Hulu. Qian was a surname from the Han ethnic group, which was considered as having a lower status. New Hulu was a surname from the higher status Manchu ethnic group. Many emperors and high officials were also from New Hulu family. Legend said Emperor Qianlong changed his mother's surname in order to elevate the political status. Emperor Kangxi once predicted, "New Hulu must be a blessed person. In fact, she really was. She climbed from a low-ranking concubine to the noble consort after her only son succeeded the throne. She was even honored as the empress dowager and lived a comfortable and healthy life to a ripe old age."